our stops and we are on our next adventure. Everybody's loaded up. Um, I'm super stoked. I'm having a bucket list thing happen today. So I'm meeting up with a bunch of people up into our snow park up here in the mountains of Washington State. And we're gonna take my running dogs or all of my shelter dogs that I uh, have and we're gonna go out there and we're gonna hook them up to the sled for the first time. So thanks for following. I hope you enjoy the video today. Okay, so we made it here at the snow park. Snow park and um, this is pretty cool. I got a couple dogs out. We're getting them all unloaded. There's a bunch of people here. Lots of dogs. And they've been running them out on the trails. Let's do a quick thing of everybody part. So, I'm really grateful to be here. I'm excited about it. We're going to get our stuff all looked over. And um, these people offered to help us. And... Mickey Douglas is gonna help us and there's a bunch of people. So I guess I'll walk out here a little bit um, without going over through the middle of their stuff because they're all parked at the beginning of the trail. So the trail comes out of up here where these guys are at and it goes down this way and it goes out through the trails that way. So. We're gonna get everybody out and hooked up. And um, it's absolutely beautiful today. I brought my little snowman. He can't see anything, but he's along for the ride. Snowman, you're in the snow, snowman. <laughs> he's like, what is going on? So far we got out sky and summit's on this side and night's on the other side. We still gotta unload the rest of the dogs and get our stuff together and then we'll get the sleds over and have everybody look at our stuff. Dirk's been working on trying to get tie outs for us. We've worked on this um, line. We could add in another dog here in the middle. So anyways, we're gonna get everything undone and get everybody out. Mishka, he's getting Mishka out. This is her first time ever. So. All of our dogs are um, former death row dogs and they're living a good life now. So anyways, turn us off and we're gonna get everybody out to go potty and get our stuff all together. And then we'll go over and have them all look over our equipment. <laughs> oh, yikes. Good job, guys. Woo! Good, good, good. I don't know why it always has to be chaos at the very beginning. Jeez. Chaos. Ha. Ha. Yes. Good job. Hike, hike. It's uphill. Go, go, go. You're going to have to work it. It's not too bad, but it is a little bit. Hike, hike, summit. You're going to have to work. Hike, hike. Good. Yes. I got the turning thing down. That was not too hard to figure out. Good hike. Ground's kind of a little wet. We waited till too late in the afternoon. We're doing it. Good. Yes. 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 Good. I hope Dirk's okay. I don't see him. Up front. Up front hike. Good. Yay. Yay. Go first. Ah, 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 ah. Hike, hike, hike. Don't stop. Don't stop. Keep going. Yes. 
up front. There you go. Good. Yes. Yes, there you go. Up front. Yes. Good. Yes. Yes. Ooh, pretty. Water. Yes. Yes. Hike, hike. Good job, Summit. Good job. I hope me sure. I don't want to stop because I'm gonna keep going until we are. Yes. Up front. It's hard for the two of them there. Up front. Let's go. Hike. Uh. I was a little concerned coming down the hill and going around the corner, but it was easy. And two is almost not enough for me with my sled and my weight uh. and the ground being wet. This is really a lot of fun, I must say. Uh. Good. Up front. We gotta go up the hill, I think. Good. Okay. Hi. Up front. Oh, here. Whoa. Jeez. Okay, so it's actually quite warm here. It's so pretty. Jeez. So Dirk is got two more up there. He's trying to get them all ready to come down the hill. And we're going to record him heading down here. I don't know how he's going to do it because Misha's kind of. Mishka's a nut. She doesn't know anything. We got a lot of work to do. <laughs> Training, but they. They enjoy this, so um, I'm gonna just keep walking down here and he has to <clears throat> have lots of patience lining them out. Get him out here, cause here they come. Oopsie, hopefully it doesn't wreck. Come on, guys! Hike, 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 hike! You no. stopping? And away they go. <laughs> she took off without him. She... <laughs> so it's hard. <laughs> it's really hard to... There they go. That'll be a good experience for them. And they're off. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk a little bit down here. Maybe we'll get a slow-mo on their way back. If he comes back this way, I don't know. The rest of my dogs are having a fit at the truck. I don't think they can get off of there, so. <laughs> my <laughs> loose dogs running down the trail looking for their mom. Anyways, there's all kinds of these trails out here that are perfectly groomed for families uh, to come out on skis. Um, there is a whole area for snowmobiles. This whole area is built and designed for sled dogs. And we all get to share this with people on skis and they're either doing cross country or um, ski drawing. And we missed it when everybody left this morning. So we were late, but look at this. Isn't this pretty? So pretty.
gorgeous. It's pretty. Up and over. Trail. And it comes down over here, a little culvert. And the water down over here. I'm just gonna keep walking out here a little bit. It's actually quite warm out today. I had to take off my hoodie and everything. Um, I'm sweating to death. This is really cool. This is really, this is really cool. But y'all didn't know this was happening. There was even such a thing, huh? Pretty cool. Um, the rock quarry over there, this just kind of zips around here like this. And it goes, we went out and back. There's a big loop that goes back around to the trucks, but um, we just went out and back. Our dogs aren't in really good shape and neither are, <laughs> and the sled was interesting. I really need to have like a four or six dogs on that sled with my weight and the sled weight. The two did it, it was fun, um, but it just gives me something to practice my dogs at home with on lining out and learning how to, um, pull they know how to pull but the directions and stay tight with the ropes etc etc so we're all greenhorns doing this i am not a seasoned musher by any means this is my first time so this is really pretty check this out gorgeous i don't know why that caught my attention it's so pretty the cedar trees it's beautiful Okay, I think I'm going to hold tight on this and hopefully I can get a slow-mo of them heading back <laughs> if they come back this way. I jumped off, I grabbed them. You two are fantastic. Yes, you are. Can't wait till I have to turn around. It's gonna be a chore, I know, but. This is fun. Crystal Mountain Snow Park. What a wonderful, beautiful day. I'm in a t-shirt for heaven's sake. And I wish I was dressed lighter. And I wish I was wearing a pair of tennis shoes. These are running sports. You gotta help them up the hill. We're going downhill now. Easy sailing. I'm gonna go get another dog. I'm gonna have two of them hooked up here in that. All right, so we made it home safely from our trip. Mishka did really good. Um, Summit did good. Sky did good. And these two are up to their shenanigans again. So uh, it was a really fun day. Um, Got a lot of work to do. Um, I wanted to show everybody this. This one's ready to go again. <laughs> she held herself to the truck, got in behind the back seat. She's like, I'm ready to go. 
So her name's Feather. She's the latest dog that I got from California out of the shelter system. So she's adjusting to her new life and she really likes to pull and run with the sled. She did a fantastic day today. So anyways, um, we're all gonna, we're all a little pooped and we're gonna unload and get ready for our next adventure. So thanks everybody for following along. Say goodbye, Feather. Say goodbye. She's such a pretty girl. Feather. Anyways, live life to the fullest and make a difference along the way. And thanks for following. Bye.